Hey, it's Crystal with utelconcerts.com. I'm on the phone with Kiefer and Shauna Thompson from the duo Thompson Square. I'm so excited to get to talk to you guys. But I know that you've been having a little bus trouble. I was reading your Twitter updates. What happened? What, Which one? What's not happening? <laughs> this, is, this is our second bus. I don't know what's wrong with it. We, we've been jinxed with the, uh, the whole bus thing. Last night we had a bad tire. We had to pull over in the, in the middle of nowhere and... Uh, and spend a few hours trying to get that fixed. Oh, that's awful. But you, oh, well. you kept yourselves busy. Oh, yeah. We have plenty of movies and games and all kind of stuff on the bus to keep us occupied. <laughs> we, went to the, we went to the theater yesterday and saw two movies in a row. We've never done that. <laughs> a little double header. That's cool. So right now you're doing a bunch of shows at state fairs and then working in some Jason L. Dean, My Kind of Party tour dates. Yeah, do you get to like um, hang out at the fair, like walk around and see what's going on, or do you just have to go back to the bus and leave? can't really do that. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I, I dressed up in a disguise the other day and went out and looked around. It was kind of funny. <laughs> in a disguise? What kind of disguise? He looks sort of like Joe Dirt. <laughs> So Perfect. I'm in a mullet and a, I some, a trucker hat. I put some fake hair in. <laughs> you actually have a great sense of fashion that I've noticed seeing you guys around. So, um, like, but the stuff that you wear seems kind of hard to find. Do you find stuff at like different tour stops? Collect things? Where do you shop? Shop everywhere we can. You know, we we uh, took a few days off, went to L.A. and, and uh, did some shopping out there. And every once in a while, we're uh, we're out there. Um, we got a we got a stylist we work with a little bit too. It kind of helps us shop and everything, just because we don't have time to do it. You know, Shauna tries to run into every TJ Maxx that she can find across the country. So I'm I'm a little bit addicted to TJ Maxx. I have to admit. Oh, it's like crack. <laughs> it's awful. I love it. You two have been at it for a while. About how long has it been that you've been performing do, and singing? Doing music. Yeah. Um, since I was thirteen. Well, Shauna's probably earlier than that. It's uh, Thompson Square, about six years. I mean, ever since we've been in Nashville, we moved to Nashville in 1996. Ever, ever since we've been there, we've just been, like, pounding it really, really hard. And uh, about five or six years ago, well, I guess about six or seven years ago now, we decided to do the Thompson Square thing, you know, and that's kind of when everything started happening for us. I guess we should have figured that out, tried to figure that out a long time ago. You guys have been married 12 years, right? So uh, did you ever almost quit and just be like, well, let's just have a family? Uh, yeah, we 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 uh, had a few little brick walls. And, and uh, the year that we got our record deal um, was the year that Sean just finally said, I'm done, I'm tired of it, and uh, I can't do it anymore, you know. And I was like, well, let's do it. All right, I promise this time I'm not lying. Let's do it one more year. If we don't get it, then we'll, we'll move wherever you want to go. We'll do whatever, whatever you want to do. And and uh, two months later, we got our record deal. So uh, we definitely got pushed to the very, the very limit before we uh, before we got this thing going on. What was your wedding song? <laughs> well, actually, Kiefer wrote a song for me when we were dating. Um, he didn't have any money, or he said he didn't have any money for Valentine's Day. He don't do anything. <laughs> he knew I was so, broke. He uh, he was very romantic, and he wrote me a song, and uh, he actually sang it at our wedding. So, and then uh, that is James at last was the song that we danced to. Oh, is there anywhere? No, we... Sunday kind of love. Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> you better get it right, buddy. <laughs> That's right. so funny. We're, you, we're huge at a James fans. Is there anywhere where we can find the song that you wrote her? No. No. <laughs> it's in the Thompson Square Vault. I love <laughs> it. In the archives. Maybe, oh. maybe to be released Some... further on down the road. <laughs> what was the name of it? Can I get that? Um, yeah, it's called I'm Here. I love it. Very yeah. cute. What were you doing for work before you were discovered? Um, the better question is, what were we not doing? I mean, as far as, as work, we uh, bartended. I was a photographer. Kiefer was a graphic designer. I worked at Kinko. I worked at a propane company. I, I mean, painted houses. I mean, it was just I mean, it's endless. But so we... Uh, we we also I mean, our main source was, was playing downtown on Broadway for tips and uh, she and I toured with the, uh, with an artist around uh, around the country uh, you know doing backup for them and I, I play guitar for a few different different acts so it, yeah it was just a big uh, we were very diversified yeah what do you think you'd be doing now if you didn't get your break I'd probably be down she would force me to move to Gulf Shores 
<laughs> we probably have a shrimp shack or something on the beach. Yeah. <laughs> that ain't so bad. Yeah. So um tell me about when you did get your big break. How did that happen? Well we had a we had one show scheduled at a place called Third and Winsley and our now manager saw the show and, and, and gave us a call and said, Hey, I think Broken Bow would really like you guys and you know, so they came out and I mean long story short, they came out and uh, offered us a record here the next the next uh, week. Wow. And uh yeah, after all this time, you know, it was just like some freak thing where we didn't advertise or anything. It was just, um, you know, one of our friends who happened to be working at, over at Broken Bow at the time um, saw that we had a show, liked the new music, and uh, they came out, and, and the rest is history. He actually saw the, the show posted on MySpace. Yeah, I didn't think anybody went there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Keeper, in, in the bio, it says that you were into, like, punk rock and heavy metal growing up. Um, did you ever try out any rock projects before Thompson Square? No, I, I, I was into everything from Roger Miller to Metallica. I mean, I, I, I just love music, you know, and if it's good, it inspires me. I think there's good music to be found in all genres, you know, it doesn't matter, you have to, you have to seek it out. And I think it makes you a more well-rounded artist, you know, uh, even in, if it's all you do is country, I think if you listen to other things, um, you can find inspiration in a, in a bunch of different things, So, which I'm really glad about. I mean, I, I, I was raised on real traditional country music, and, was, and you know, Merle Haggard's the reason why I started writing songs, and Mm-hmm. But uh, my, my first influence was Elvis. You know, that was my who my parents idolized, and um, so yeah, my my uh, my influences are all over the map. But what other band names did you toy around with before coming up with Thompson Square? Well, we were Runaway Gypsy for a while. Um, I think that was the only other name that we well, we really used. We started out being Thompson Squared with a D, and then uh-huh. we dropped that. Uh, we spent. We spent probably months trying to figure out a band name. You know? Yeah. That's probably harder than naming your kid. I mean, yeah. it's, uh, <laughs> it's so hard. So I just went to see the American Idol live tour, and Scotty McCreary performs Are You Gonna Kiss Me or Not? Um, yeah, that's like he what did. We heard. Yeah. What, do you, what were your reactions when you saw that he chose your song on the show? Um, well, uh, we didn't really, we haven't seen or heard it. We, uh, we were out of the country, we were on a cruise when it happened, and. When uh, we got back in the States, we found out, um, um, we're both huge Tom Petty fans. We found out that Jimmy Iovine picked this song for Scotty, and and uh, I haven't, I hadn't watched American Idol at all. And, and uh, I was like, you got to be kidding me, Jimmy. He's, he's, he's like a hero of mine, you know. So that was that was huge for us because um, he compared the record to a, to a Petty record, you know. And uh, when we went in to make this record, it was... Uh, that was one of our influences, you know. We, we threw all of our influences into this big cauldron and and uh, tried to make a record that kind of touched on all of them. So it was really, really cool that Jimmy picked that song for us. It was awesome. Absolutely. So did you happen to notice, like, a boost in sales or fans after that aired? And you were like, what? Sales, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there was an overnight little boost. That's the power of TV. These contests are pretty uh, pretty popular. And American Idol's really uh, got a lot of viewers, you know. So it's... Uh, Anytime you can get in front of that many people, it's a good thing. Absolutely. So my favorite question for artists is, what's the best concert that you've ever been to as an audience member, and why? Um, for me, I have to go back to my very first concert. That was Alabama back in, like, 1985, I think it was. Um, they're really the ones who inspired me to want to be a performer. That would probably be mine. That or Garth Brooks. Yeah, he I mean, puts on a amazing. great show. The energy. Yeah, Garth's amazing. Uh, Kiss. Uh, for me, I've seen them about five times. Okay, so what do you have coming up? Well, we've got a new single out right now. Oh, yeah? yeah? We have, um, I Got You. It's uh, 19 this week on the chart, so we're really stinking excited about that. And uh, Great video for that, by the way. Thank you. Love we co-wrote it, it and uh, so... That's pretty exciting, too. Well, very cool. Um, We have our very own Mike Bandow, who will be in the crowd for Thompson Square at uh, the Iowa State Fair on August 12th. And all the listeners can check out um, other tour dates and news at thompsonsquare.com. That's it. Very cool. All right, guys. Have a great day. Hopes that uh, nothing happens with the bus or anything. Okay. Thank you. (laughs) All right. You take care.